Hello everybody, welcome back to Project Zomboid. I know it's been a while, I haven't been feeling so great. Mentally, mostly. It's been, uh, it's been a bit of a rough month, but I do intend to continue this series. And in fact, I have a fun little, uh, a fun little mission. Have I read this? I have not read this. I should read this. Um, I want to go and, uh, I want to go into a different city. I want to go to West Point. Uh, we're gonna go from probably the most chill town to start with into the most spicy town to go. Well, Louisville is spicier, but West Point would be probably the the toughest one of the starting uh, places. So we might do some foraging at some point. It's definitely good to have this, um, you know, to have this red. I think I've, yeah, I've definitely gotten into foraging. I don't think I've covered mushrooms and berries all that much, but basically, you know, read this. You'll know which, what is safe to eat, which is really good. So I did already uh, prep a van a little bit. Uh, I got a bunch of food. I think, yeah, a bunch of potatoes because they last for two weeks and a bunch of sweets. Well, not that many, but we'll find a gas stop here and there. I brought some propane and propane torches, and I assume also a welder mask. Right, that's on the floor here. Um, I switched out my van because my last van got a little beat up last time. I think uh, somewhere there, there's a yellow van that we used last time. I took off the hood, um, but still, even then, it wasn't so great. So we're just gonna use a different van we could fix them up and stuff, and we'll get to that at some point, but right now, as long as we have really clean vents to pick from, screw it, we'll just do that. So, uh, I also took uh, a hood of a different van, 78 condition, and we have metal sheet, propane, tire pump, welder mask, I'm gonna take all of this into my backpack, or just on my person. And there's a couple things I want to do. I want to obviously put on the hood here, because uh, we don't have one. Without a hood, the engine is going to get wrecked really quickly. So this hood install, there we go. I'll show you the basics about uh, mechanics, but... What I also want to do is I want to check the trunk. The trunk is 50%. Yeah, I kind of figured that's... Um, I already checked that beforehand too. And we can hold 78 weight, which is decent, but I think it can go up to around 110. I'm not sure, some vehicles are 110, some are 130. So what I'm gonna do is right click the trunk, repair one metal sheet. It's also gonna use a bit of propane. No? Oh, it did. It did do the thing. Trunk, 86%, hell yeah, now it holds 115, so I guess it can go all the way up to 130. We could actually do it again. It could go, well, let's, let's hold off. If it, if it drops below 60, I will repair it again. Because right now it could repair 43, that's gonna top, uh, top out above 100, so there will be a loss. It won't be super efficient. Nice. Um, let me see, so we have two propane tanks. I'm gonna put the welder mask away. Ooh, also tire pump. Tire pump is something I didn't cover. Um, tires have pressure. And I never covered, well, I think I, I touched on it a little bit when I did explain about mechanics, but I didn't realize um, how it affects resistance and uh, how much your your car ghosts. So all these tires are pretty decent, but I'm definitely gonna pump up this one. Just gonna do an inflate tire. So you just need to have the tire pump on you. And I think you can see the pressure going up. Honestly, I kind of prefer them not being 100% full. So I'm just going to start moving. And I'm going to check them all again. 
30, 28, 32. I'm also going to inflate this one a little bit. Basically, if you have the mold to 35 out of 35, it's going to coast for a long time after you let go of the throttle. And I definitely hate it when all tires are half full and um, it barely coasts at all. But if they're all in perfect pressure, it coasts a bit longer than I'm used to. And it's just something, yeah, I'm not used to. Um, cool. So yeah, I think I have all the essential stuffs. So I also have fatty foods on me. I have coffee. I have a bunch of potatoes. A duffel bag for loot. I do have four boxes of shells. Almost another box opened. I have a shotgun on me. Two boxes of nails, so we could do a bit of barricading and a fire axe. I always have a saw on me, screwdriver, hammer, hand torch, lighter, all that stuff. Bath towel is unnecessary in my opinion. Not now. In winter, hell yeah. Well, it is. Nah, not worried about it. Um, one empty gas can always good that you can, if you can siphon. Molotov cocktail. I. No, I'm not going to mess with Molotov Cocktails. Vitamins. What I do think I want to bring is a shit ton of spears. I have 19 spears. I think I'm going to use them a bunch when I get into West Point. Because spears are... They're busted. They're so OP. They're so good. I don't think I've fought with spears yet, have I? I, could, I, could, I have a lot to say about spears, about how to fight with them. They're, they are so effective, but they there's a couple things you really have to get used to. But yeah, um, I think that's good. I think I'm just going to sleep. I'm going to wait till the morning to go. Um, I don't think we'll need this much propane, but... You know, you never know if you're going to have a bunch of car wrecks on the road. I'm also going to find propane in barbecues though, so I'm going to leave one behind. It's heavy. It feels silly taking propane from here. I know plenty, uh, I know how to find bar uh, barbecues in West Point. I love West Point, it's my favorite place. It started as kind of challenging myself to get used to West Point, and I was like, I actually like it here. Sweet. I'm just gonna eat a cabbage. I'm gonna check on the farm in the morning. I'm not gonna plant any new stuff or anything, but um, some things might be ready for harvest in the morning. And I'll take with me what I can. And I'm just going to let the farm die, basically. We have so many seeds, it's really no biggie. So yeah, I'll just have a smoke, I'll sleep, and we'll get an early start in the morning. Alright, almost 5am. Time to go. I actually did a double sleep. <laughs> I slept and I woke up at midnight. I was like, well, that's going to screw up everything. So let's see, can I harvest? I can harvest some potatoes. I'll just harvest as many potatoes as I can, probably. And I think I can harvest these cabbages. They're even seed bear. No, they're ready for harvest, but that's okay. I don't care about the seeds. Oh, that's great. That is a lot of food. A lot of this is going to rot. It's fine, but we could just dump it in the, in the van and we'll see how it goes. So I don't have too much of a plan. I have spears, I have weapons, I have snacks. I have a full van. <laughs> it's basically full. The box of nails are pretty important, I guess. And also, um, I do want to set up a water collector somewhere. So let me see. I want to bring some garbage bags. Uh, four, eight. So we're going to make two water collectors. Perfect. I think that's going to do. That's going to be it. 
So the series will go on for a while, I think. I mean, as long as I don't die, you know. I could die in 20 minutes from now. But if all goes well, the series will go on. I might not be able to do two episodes a week. My, uh, yeah, as I said, my mentals aren't great. But, uh... So, I'm gonna follow this road, go out of town the east side. I think I know the way of the top of my head, mostly. But I'll show the map here and there where it's relevant. Um... I might also fast forward for a lot of the traveling. I'm gonna assume the road is pretty chill. I know this road should be okay. Like within town, it can be a little busy here, but I know that this route is fairly chill, most of the road. So it shouldn't be too exciting, but I'll show you the route I take and um, I want to focus more on how to push into a city, especially West Point can be... can offer definitely a bit of resistance. If you would uh, come in from the south or from the east, it would be really rough. Uh, the west side is way more chill. You gradually see more and more zombies. They'll still be busy. But it's a bit more gradual. You might be able to enter the first homes without too much issue, hopefully. I do know that there's this one road going into West Point. Um, this road is always incredibly busy for me, this bit. So that's interesting. So we could even go... We would have to go off-road to take this northern road and that might be full of trees now. So I do think we're going to have to take the cursed road, but that's why I have the spears. The spear should let us fight, even at level 0, should let us fight a lot of zombies without burning for stamina too quickly. Alright then, I hit that tree. I didn't see it on time, and like that, my hood is busted. I am not used to vanilla apocalypse settings. It is insanely brutal. I hit a zombie. I hit one zombie with the side. I hit one tree. Sure, I was coming in a little bit hot, but it's hard to see. And my hood is basically gone. Well, it's somewhere in the 40s%, I want to say. So at this point, my engine is going to take damage. But good news, we are at the river. So not too long, the road will bend to the left or towards the east. And uh, should be good. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking out for uh, for more commercial vehicles with hoods I can take. I must have mentioned before, a pickup truck hood will also work. Pickups or vans, they'll all work. Yeah, I just wanted to see 39% condition on the hood. Oof, that's a big oof. And I think the engine took a tiny hit, but that's, that's, that's doable. Okay, we want to be super careful. Right, so this is the first time I've had to get out to uh, to fight a little bit. With just four zombies, I didn't want to push through. My hood at 39%. This is what I always say you should do. It's even a tiny group, just get out of fight. Gonna save your gonna save your vehicle, but you know. I too get get impatient, but I was like, you know what? It's only 9 a.m. I have all the time in the world to just fight a little group of zombies. I also haven't played that much PZ in a while. Gives me a chance to get into the groove. I think what I'm gonna do is... Um, get some spears and maybe I can get just that first level of... Uh, spear before I get into town. That might be good. That should help a little bit with damage maybe. In, the, in my other run, I've been fighting a lot with spears. I have spear at level 6 and maintenance at level 8. And I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, I am fairly confident that a stack of 6 to 8 spears will last me all day. Starting out though, especially early in the run, they might only last a couple zombies. It makes a huge difference. Alright, one on the back. One in my hands, two in my backpack. I could probably make 
save some weight by uh, dumping some stuff. Then I can bring even more. Alright, let's get going and uh, see how far we get. Whoa, that's a bit of a cluster. That's a backpack event. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna push through that, so... Spear time. So my first tip for spear... You could have one in your hands and one on your back. And then if the one in your hands breaks, you could just press one to quickly grab the one from your back. It's really good. And make sure every time you do the, you do swap to also put a fresh one on your back. Oh, and there goes the first one. Honestly, that wasn't too bad. Thanks to level... 4 maintenance. I would at least try to get to level 2 maintenance before you start with spears. Obviously, the higher the better, but at least those first two levels, they help out a bunch. My other biggest tip for spear is make sure all of your enemies are kind of within within the 45 degree cone. If there's one coming from the top, stop fighting and make sure they're all in the same direction because you could get stuck in the spear animation, which I'm sure I can show you later, and um, that freezes you in place for a sec. That's the biggest thing that gets you killed when you're fighting with spears, in my opinion. But spear animation isn't a problem as long as you get used to it. You know, that's easier said than done. <laughs> that animation. Like right now, I should not attack that one because there's also one coming from above. And I've known this for forever. Still, I... I've gotten myself killed multiple times after switching to uh, being a big spear enjoyer. Right, we're a little bit exerted. We need a fresh spear. I should maybe rest up, but I think they're all gone now. Fun little roadblock here. Come on, can I squeeze past? Yes, I can. In the meantime, let me just quickly show the map, see where we've been going. Uh, literally all I've done is follow the road. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. You'll see the river here and there so you know you're on the right track. There's just this one turn you have to remember, I think, but I'll show you that in a sec. Found a van here in the middle of the road with a couple mailmen. And the cool thing about these vans is you can find books in them. And as luck would have it, it has metal working free. And I just happened to forgot to bring any books. So we have read one and two. The next one would be level uh, book three. So this is kind of perfect. Really blessed. It's also carpentry, but we, we don't need that. So I'm definitely taking this with me. If we do end up clearing the road quite a bit, then that will come in incredibly handy. So hell yeah, blessed event. Oh, and this is the turn. I'm pretty sure we have to go, whoop, this way. Let me check the map real quick, get an idea of where we are. Yep, this looks familiar. It's basically the one turn you have to remember. Sometimes I'll just put planks here, kind of in the circle. If I expect to do a lot of going back and forth, that's a nice visual indicator of, oh, don't forget to turn. Just a little tip. Well, it's getting a bit busier. We're definitely getting closer to West Point. Also, I do want to check out those. So, time for some more fighting. This time I remember to turn off the engine. Mostly just because it tends to... If I get out quickly, it tends to make so much noise. I don't know if the zombies hear it as loud as I do, but... You never know. So, yeah. Fighting with spears low level is a lot of grabbing spears out of your backpack, sadly. That's why uh, a lot of people really swear by the dexterous trait. It should make that twice as fast, which is great, but... Too late to, uh, to pick that now, so we'll, we'll deal with it. If zombies are bundled up like this, 
you should never get the stab animation. Uh, if two zombies are really close to each other, it shouldn't use that animation, but you know, should. This game does have some quirks. So that's something to uh, keep in mind. And especially with the spear, always make sure to have your left thumb on the spacebar. Because sometimes you target one zombie, but uh, you attack the one behind it. It's really spicy. It's really sketch. So always be ready to push, because otherwise the zombies that is, that's in front that should have been attacked uh, will maybe get a chance to hit you, you know, depending on how far it is and stuff. And that's my first level of spear. I only have one left though, so that's unfortunate. And I'm gonna exert it, so you know what? I'm just gonna start uh, using the shotgun. There are quite a few zombies left. We're not too close to town, so I'm not expecting to draw in hundreds extra. And I'm taking a gamble that we'll find more ammo in those two cars than we're gonna use. So it should be fun. I did realize I forgot one thing. I forgot beta blockers. So we have less than a bottle, but it's fine. We've been alive for months now, so in general panic isn't as bad as it could have been. Okay, we're definitely attracting more zombies. It may have been more busy in these farmlands than I thought. <laughs> this may have been a silly idea. Honestly, a Molotov could have been a great solution here. Make noise with the shotgun, burn it with a Molotov. There are not too many buildings to burn here anyways, but eh. Screw it. We'll just see how far we get. If it's really gonna be an issue, then we'll just drive off and come back later. Well, we're two boxes of ammo in. We're down. And I think we have exactly the same amount of zombies we had when we started. <laughs> and this is a fairly chill place. This is why I don't really recommend shotguns to uh, newer players. Or, you know, even myself. <laughs> if it's... If you're not sure how busy it is around you, you never know what you're gonna get. You might be done in a minute. You might just find more zombies than you thought you had to begin with. Hell yeah, aiming level 5. So something to know about the aiming level. Uh, after aiming level 5, you only get way less XP per shot. Uh, it's not just normal RPG mechanics where every level is harder. There's also a very clear difference between before 5 and after 5. Where, you know, just an XP debuff. I guess they just wanted it to be fairly easy to get to level 5, so you can use most weapons fairly efficiently. And after that... And the levels beyond that are very important if you want to use, for instance, the M14, the M16. And they really want you to uh, have to work for that. So that's something to be keep in mind. If suddenly you're like, why can't I even get to level 6? And that's, that's not you, that's just how it works. But yeah, we're almost 4 boxes in. Let me see, how much do I have? I only have one box left. We've used almost four boxes and um, I have about as many zombies as I had when I started. So I definitely misjudged this a little bit. There were way more zombies in the neighborhood than I thought. Obviously the shotgun is also very loud. But I figured ah, I'm so far out of West Point it's fine right? Well, I goofed a little bit so I'll probably have to drive back a bit and find a random farmhouse to stay tonight. That's okay, there are a lot of farm homes here. Oh wow, my shotgun does not have long left. And I just loaded it up. No shells left beyond that, so I'll just keep these last six shells just in case. Gonna eat a potato, have a smoke, because I'm agitated, and I'll try to uh, kill the rest just with melee. Hopefully the noise stopping will also prevent more new zombies from coming in. I think there's a zombie on the ground here somewhere. There's something was snarling at me. 
Alright, back to spears. Alright, I think that's the last one. Oh, scratch that. I think that's the last one. Well, never mind. I should just stop saying that. Should just say, we'll take out the last couple crawlers. And then I think we're good to uh, loot the police cars. I never feel 100% safe around so many dead zombies on the street because sometimes they hide a crawler. So I'm gonna definitely keep my ears open. I should probably check the police. Yeah, somewhere there's a zombie. If they fall near a car, sometimes they kind of fall under, but... Oh, that's it apparently. Alright, mystery solved. Now let's see, what do the cars have? Both locked? Okay, we'll just smash it. Always make sure you have a weapon in your hands. Walkie talkie, that's a bit disappointing. You'll often find uh, something in the front. Oh wow, that's a pile. They have to be beta blockers somewhere in all these zombies, but ooh, cabbage seeds. Hell yeah, if we do want to farm a West Point, we can do that. I can't even find the trunk of the car. There we go. Two boxes of shotgun shells, a one box of 308. So at least we got almost half our uh, ammo back, so that's pretty good. Then I feel like it's been worth it. Another box and three boxes of 9mm. Hell yes, I'll take the twine, I'll take the wrench. And let me see, there's a key in the ignition that's kind of cool. No guns. Sometimes you find an M9 in the glove box or something. Sweet. I think I should probably uh, find a nice place to stay. A nice place to stay for the night. Since we've been shooting here so much, I would be incredibly surprised if there's still zombies in here. So I think this should be fairly safe to stay. I'm kind of surprised no zombies broke out. But you know, if there were never zombies to begin with, then those zombies have to break out. Oh wow. Oh wow. So this is an event. Sometimes you find a character that probably opted out. This one had three different guns, four different guns, and two different types of ammo. That's interesting. I'll take the M9 pistol. And always, it never has a round in the chamber because, you know, you could probably figure out why. So that's cool, so we got a pistol out of it. That's neat. And a fair bit of ammo, so it was just worthwhile. And of course we have some uh, combat XP. I'm just gonna eat here, eat some stuff, maybe there's something to read. And I'll just uh, try to fill, the, uh, fill my time and sleep here. And we'll resume in the morning. Alright, just woke up. I found some magazines and stuff. I also moved uh, the cabinet by the bedside. I, I crouched in the corner and I slept here because you don't actually move your position when you sleep. So I didn't want to be within eyesight of zombies. Ate some snacks. I found tweezers and a pipe wrench, which is actually pretty great because, you know, tweezers for glass or whatever and a pipe wrench in case we do uh, want to hook up a, a water collector somewhere in West Point. So I'm going to put those away. And we're good to go. I also opened up the uh, a couple boxes of 9mm ammo. And I put the 9mm on my holster. So we might use that a little bit. We'll see how it goes. But for now we'll just keep driving. I think I have to be getting fairly close. Actually I want to check the map real quick. Um, yep. We're in West Point basically. I'm just expecting a lot of resistance in this last bit actually. Sadly, we're out of spears. I could get my knife out and um, and cut about a, a bunch of bushes, make more spears. Actually, I have spears in the in the back of the van. 
Oh, I'll see if I can grab some. That would be great, but I'm not sure if uh, it's gonna be too busy. I suspect it might. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We'll just go for the crowbar for a bit. We have good long blunt levels, so we'll be fine. It's gonna be fun to use the crowbar. I don't use it all that much, except for in this run. Well, this wasn't so bad. I think we're almost through them. Perfect. You know what? I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna dump all my my firepower, all my weapons, my firearms. I'm gonna dump all of them and bring as many spears as I can. Because I think I still have like 12 of them or so in the van. I think that'll help trying to push into uh, West Point. It's also quite possible that it will be fine to just zigzag through the zombies, but you know, I like to be overprepared. Feed that anxiety, use the anxiety. <laughs> so it might get you, uh, it might help you out. Yeah, this is a lot of weight here. Gonna drop the shotgun, it's almost gone, drop the pistol, drop the magazines in case we need it, and now we have 17 weights, and how are we looking for spears? 13 spears, hell yeah. And then I can put one on my back, and one in my hands, we have two left, sweet. I'll eat something on the go, I think I should have, let me eat a a jar of peanut butter and a cup of potatoes. Breakfast of champions. I think I was overweight. Oh, we're actually gaining weight. Whoops. I think I was overweight when I left. And I was thinking, oh, that's kind of perfect. Because then I can just eat potatoes every day and slowly lose my weight. So we'll be burning so many calories. And not gaining enough of them, but... It's not too bad. First time you drive here, a lot of zombies might be uh, very much spread out, so it might not be as bad. But if you're a little bit unlucky, they might all be on the road. Us driving here probably pulls them all to the road. So the next time we drive here, it might actually be worse. But yeah, spears have been great. I had a... Uh, a bunch of kills in a row, they were all two hits. But that's at level 1, it's really silly how good the spear is. And sometimes you get the stab animation, which is an insta-kill. It's, it's busted. But I'm not complaining, because I love using it. I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, would rebalance spears in the next uh, build, in build 42. There are definitely some changes coming about spears. They will allow us to make metal spear tips and other metal weapons. But there we go. These are the first homes of West Point. This whole street is busy. This street is sort of busy. There's always a group of zombies hiding here. <laughs> I know West Point fairly well by now. So typically I'll know where to expect uh, some silliness. Right, I think I have a I broke a spear to get rid of and grab a fresh one. I think I'm fairly close to um, to being a bit exerted. So I'm gonna take some beta blockers. I hope I can find a chair somewhere near in in one of the closest homes. That would be great. So we can put it on the road and rest up now and then. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It really helps that we have all day to. Uh, fight our way through here. I haven't actually thought about a place to settle down. In the past I've usually had bases in the in this side of West Point because it's a bit more chill. And honestly I, I don't think I mentioned that yet. I'm mostly here just because I want to loot the hardware store. There's also more of a general store that is often called the hardware store, but it has a, a bit of everything. It's in the center of town, right across the street from the gas station. And I just want to get machetes, basically. 
I was thinking like what to do with this run, what are we going to do for our next big adventure? It's like Louisville, that's my go-to, or maybe uh, March Ridge, because it's spicy. It's like what do I really want and need? Machetes, I think I only have one machete at home in Riverside. And I just want a whole heckin' stack of machetes. Because machetes are my favorite weapon. They do a lot of damage, they're one-handed, so you can have a loot bag in the other hand. Or a flashlight, so it's nice at night. It's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go on a big quest for machetes. Go to West Point. It has, uh... At least a couple locations I wanna check. I wanna check out some survival homes, they could have machetes. Maybe we'll find some katanas too, but honestly I care more about the machetes. I should really... Alright. I should really uh, be a bit more mindful of my uh, exertion. I think we're gonna hit a high exertion in not too long. This is when, uh, like a piano stool, would be uh, the best way to get rid of our exertion. Because it's the lightest, the lightest chair you can bring with us, uh, with you. I think it's only two weight, which is great. I think we'll pull most of the zombies down the street, so we could probably just bolt to the car and keep driving, but... Hmm, no, they were definitely waiting for me. Whoops. I probably left the engine running out. Uh. Yep, that's a shame. Well, we'll try to pull a few more with us. Just walk down the street. I'm probably not even gonna fight. Just trying to lure as many as we can down the street and then walk back and see how it looks then. This might take some time, but it's okay. We have time. We could just walk. We have nowhere to be. We we'll have smoke on the way. And we'll just take our zombies for a walk. Every now and then I'll stab one, because it's a cheap, it's a free, well, not free, but it takes stamina, but I mean, it's an insta-kill often. Doesn't use too much stamina, makes a bit of noise. And yeah, that's great. Alright, not a single zombie by the van, that's great. And because the engine is running, we should be able to just get going. Sweet! We'll rest up in the car. Hey, and um, motor exertion just left. Perfect. So I'm just kind of gonna hope that I could just drive where I want to go. I'm thinking maybe one of the homes a bit more up north. Ooh, survivor home. Right? Yeah. Nice. There's also a school here. Might be nice to visit that. I don't know why actually. It's more of a default. Normally I go there for the books. So the street left is not uh, to the left is nice. It has a church or something you could use as a base, which is a nice open floor plan. In my other run, oh wow! In my other run, this is my base. I was thinking about doing the same, but nope. RNG is like, nope, we burned it down. Surprise! Maybe one of these homes could be nice, but I don't want to go too far into town because it's just going to get busier and busier. I would like to have a base of operations. Hmm. I'm really indecisive. I I I suck at picking a base. I'm just like, oh this place is good because of this. This place is good because of And then I'm indecisive. Now I have to push for the zombies, which I don't like. You know what? I'm just gonna get out and I'm gonna fight. I should have my stamina back. I'm tempted to make a school base. I think I'm gonna do a school base. That could be fun. Yeah. Screw it. I'm just gonna be impulsive. Instead of overthinking it. School base it is. Oh shit. That was a good example of a bad way to fight with a spear. Because there were zombies on all sides of me. If I would have been locked in an animation there, I would have been dead. And it's not entirely clear to me what determines if you get the fancy kill animation. I think it's partially the range, but I think it's also just random. So this is uh, the candy store. 
could also be good. But it's a bit small. Across the street that is, is the school. Before I go in there though, let me see if I can get rid of this uh, little group. And then we could try to clear this clear the school. And I think I'm just gonna do it section by section. There's no bed in the school, that's a shame. At least, well, there might be a little medical office with a bed, but... Not sure if it's a good bed. Well, we can loot one of these homes. But yeah, I, I don't plan to take over the whole school in one day. There might not be so many zombies, but it's just so much to board up. As long as we could just... Get a little chunk of the school, then that will be fine. It's gonna be a, a fun little challenge. I'm getting a little tired from fighting all these zombies. I think I'm just gonna go sneak around the shop. Hope I'll lose a bunch so I can rest up for a sec and then kill the rest. Maybe even get to my van? Van might be good. You know what? I'm just gonna run to my van and see if I can move that up a little bit. Oh, nope. Nope, nope. Bad idea. And I think... That's them. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm way too heavy from the broken spears. That's a thing to keep in mind, but... Right, I think there's a little chair. Usually every store has a... A little seat for the clerk. I don't see one. Okay, we'll just sit. Oh shit, I found more zombies. Or they found me. Damn it. So close. Well, I'll just kill them. We'll do 50% damage, but 50% of a lot is still okay. Let's deal with these real quick. And then we'll sit on the ground to rest up. Alright, we're good. Let's kill this one that randomly wandered towards me. And then... I'll kill these and I'll get my way make my way back to the van. It's only 1 pm, that's perfect, because we're gonna need some time to uh, barricade and stuff. Let's see if there's a zombie here. No, I think there was just one on the outside. It's probably way safer to spend the night here, barricade this place, because it's way easier and then move across the street tomorrow. Money, food, snacks, goodies, soda, maybe coffee? Hmm, this place could be good to us. I don't know, we'll see. We'll, go, we'll have to cut some trees anyways to barricade stuff. First is, let's get the van. Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> we are being greeted by a bit of resistance. Ooh, I like that bandana, because it's black, instead of my grey. It's not something that matters, obviously, but, you know, part of the fun. This is, after all, just post-apocalyptic sims, isn't it? I really like that some people will really uh, get the fanciest outfits going. Zero protection, but they just like to dress up in the apocalypse. I'm like, hey, go for it. Try to be fairly efficient with my and try to get my protection up because you never know. It could just save your life, you know? There we go. But some people just walk around in the coolest outfits. I'm like, yeah, I kind of envy that. <laughs> I wish my brain would let me do that, you know? Right. Can we get to the van? Okay, the van itself isn't too busy. Just these last couple zombies. And Spear isn't even at level 2 yet, but it's doing so much damage. It just saved us so much time on this whole mission. Having to do it with the... Well, the crowbar would have been fine, honestly. 
But if my main weapon class would have been short blunt, then it would have taken so much more time. So let's check out the school. Oh, there we go. I was waiting for it to pop in. Is it busy in there? You know what? I've just decided I will first make this habitable. Uh, well, barricade this place is what I'm trying to say. I will just kill this zombie. I don't think... Yeah, we have a good s place to sleep, but we'll get that from the school. I just want to get an axe and two boxes of nails. Perfect. Oh, where are you coming from? Don't you know I claimed this place? So rude. But yeah, I'll just start chopping some trees around here. And barricade this place a little bit. Kill this one. Oh! See, that also happens. Sometimes the game is like, okay, you're close enough to do the stab, but you're not actually close enough. Did, did one of you bastards broke the door? That is really freaking annoying, because I forgot to bring door hinges and doorknobs. I do still have this door, that's okay. It's not, it's not a problem. It's just annoying. Drop these here. Equip the axe. Start chopping trees. I'd rather do that sooner than later, because chopping trees is incredibly loud. Ooh, that's another hunting knife. Let's go. I love to hoard hunting knives, because they just let me make more spears. I mean, nine she drops. Hell yeah. It's a bit overkill, but. At least heard one more she drop. Sweet. I'm gonna take these two branches. Gonna dump these logs there. And look for a nice tree. She drop is incredibly heavy, that's a shame, but we'll probably use them all in bundles, so that's okay. Ooh, more company. Early game, I really don't like using the axes for combat, but. Now that we have a bit of durability, I don't mind it too much. I do want to get most of my combat levels up a bit. It's nice to have all a lot of options. It's probably more efficient to just focus your combat and get one stat up incredibly high, but also... Eh, sometimes you just want to do something fun. Oh. Chomp. Try this again, place them here. And then I should go probably take apart this door. See if I can get another, um, what you call it, another doorknob, uh, no, another hinge specifically. Two door hinges and a doorknob. Hell yeah, I'll take one plank, might as well. Sweet, now we can at least fix up that back door. Then we have something to barricade. Yep, that'll do. Yeah, if you can just let me dump this stuff, then I'll gladly fight you. Dump the axe to... You're gonna take the shortcut, huh? Oh, there you are. Sweet. Is that a knife or that's a screwdriver? Don't care about that. Yeah. It's almost dinner time. Let me just uh, cut some 
saw some logs, make a back door. And I might have to do a, cr a crappy makeshift, um, what do you call it? Crappy makeshift chair to sleep on, but at least we'll have a safe place. First wooden door. No, not allowed. Are the planks too far? What are we missing? Door, wooden door, I have everything on me. Come on, it's two tiles away. I'll just pick up the stuff. Maybe maybe it's not happy. Maybe it's because it was just one tile off. Maybe it didn't realize it was close by. Maybe it thought there was a wall in the way or something silly. Doesn't matter. Sweet. I'm also going to barricade it. Okay, try that again. Perfect. Twice. And I definitely want to put barricades on here. Perfect. That's three planks in all these windows, so it should block all the light. Ooh. That's good. I would love to get a sheet on the door, but it's not a biggie. As long as it's just the one opening they could see through, they would really have to look at right the right angle, because they're probably going to sleep in the corner. I am hungry, but that's okay. I need to uh, check my weight, because we were uh, going up and up and up. Let's see, we could always just grab a couch. What is this? Is this a for sale house, or is it just... A weirdly furnished house. <laughs> Let's check the bedroom. Uh, it's one of these homes. Oh, ammo. Interesting. Well, you know what? We'll take we'll take a stretcher bed. That's no biggie. They're incredibly light, which I like. They are not better than a couch. I think they have average quality. I'll check it out in a sec. But hey, it'll do. So it might take us a bit longer to rest tomorrow. And we might have a little bit less uh, time to be efficient and stuff. But it's really no biggie. So I'm just going to dump the money real quick. Pick up the cash register. Pick up all these counters. Because I want a more open floor plan, I guess. Up the stretcher here real quick and yeah also remove all these i'll toss all the garbage out i do really like the grocery display counters so i will save them here don't want to wreck those they're kind of cool maybe we'll use them for something someday we won't but you know how it is with hoarding you'll find a reason to hoard let me just put this in this shelving unit and then we have room for a bed hell yeah and we'll, and we'll leave the rest up for now it's really not in the way nice look at us mm. we have lots more food now that's perfect this should keep us going for a little bit and we'll find more food in the school and all the all these homes sticks of butter pop pop mm, good stuff I think that'll do. That'll do. And um, yeah, next time we'll clear out the school, I think. Actually, I think this would be a better place or a base. We have so much room here, we'll just make a wall of crates. Because this isn't going to be a proper full on base. It would take just so much time to set up the school to make it safer when this just works fine. So I actually changed my mind. This will be this will be base. It has a nice parking lot. We can make a wall of crates to put the goodies. I guess zombies could attack the wall of crates, but maybe we'll build a wall around it. We'll see how silly we wanna get. I mostly just wanna loot the hardware store. I wanna bring nails, duct tape, machetes. That's honestly the main reason I went to this town in the first place. But I will wrap it up here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.